Well, on Smallville this season, we have the Justice League, so we have all these different characters being reunited. We have Aquaman, we have um, the Flash, uh, we have Victor, who's, who's more of a half-robot, half-human cyborg, is really what he's called. Then we have Clark. And the interesting thing, I think, for Clark is that these, these other characters try to recruit Clark into a uh, Justice League, which I'm, Clark isn't so sure he needs to be a part of. The coming together of the Justice League is pretty much um, uh, Green Arrow's doing, Oliver Queen's doing. He's, uh, he's, he's basically come to, uh, to Metropolis uh, with his group of people that, that he already has, kind of trying to recruit more people. He comes across Clark, and um, he's already tried to approach him several times to you know, join his team. I, I think Clark and his relationship to the League is... Um, He's a little apprehensive at this point still, you know, when when he discovers that they're they're banding together. Um, but I think it's I think it's going to inspire him to 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 want to be a part of something like that and do some good. I think he desperately wants to do some good and use his powers for good. Right now, one of the um, one of the one of the characters of the Justice League has been um, kidnapped. He's disappeared, and um, we think it's Lex Luthor. So the Justice League comes together to try to find um, the Flash, who's who's missing. The Justice League is on a mission to save me because I got caught, and they have a they have a whole side mission where they're going to go into the building and blow it up. So it tries to foil, I guess, Lex Luthor's uh, main plan. The reason for the Justice League ends up being because you know the Luthers exist and they do what they do. Whatever they do, we're going to stop them. I guess that's the kind of the, the idea. The thing about the Justice League that's so great is the cast of characters. The best of the best were created. They had their own story, their own comic book. Their, they were their own hero. But then you put them all together, and the dynamics of these, of these characters interacting is just so strong. You know, I think Aquaman's... Um, I think he's kind of a fun, uh, lighthearted superhero. Maybe I bring that quality because I'm sort of just easygoing, you know, and I think we share that quality a little bit. Flash is unique compared to other superheroes because I think he's just he's a little more arrogant. He's a little more easygoing with his powers. He's a little quicker to show off than most people are. And I don't think he, he's really afraid of getting caught. Cyborg, what he has that, that none of the other members have is that he is, is, is part uh, machine and part computer. And so he can interface with all different types of computers. He can access the Internet and he, can, uh, he brings a, a technological element to their, to the team. And on top of that, his devastating good looks, which Cyborg has in spades. <laughs> My favorite arrow of all time is the standard um, just hunting arrow, the, the silver-tipped arrow. And i tell you why. Because it's the easiest thing to shoot. All the other gadgets and things like that, they're all like, they're, 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 the weight is off and stuff. This one you can just pull back, you can shoot it, you know where it's going to go. Everyone around is safe. But... My favorite toy, my favorite weapon, is not the arrow. It's the uh, the crossbow. And the reason I like the crossbow is because when you're standing there, you can just. I think the Justice League is a fantastic idea for those guys to uh, to go off and, and fight crime. I think it'd be interesting to see them in the city and uh, gaining their abilities and using each other to uh, to fight crime. The hero's journey is um, a solitary journey.